Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? What's going on? We're live. I'm live. Going to do some painting. Got a cool scene here, hopefully. Keep it loose. Try to go with the feeling, the emotion of the scene. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Anyway, um, we'll wait for a few more folks to join. How's everybody doing out there? Nobody's in the chat. What's going on? Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Just make sure I'm good. Hello? 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 What's going on? What's going on? Enrique, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining. Glad to see you here. So just kind of finishing up this sketch. Um, what's going on, Phillips? Philip Cubs win. <laughs> Thanks, Cubs. Uh, appreciate that. Hope your dogs will survive. Uh, yeah, Philip, where you been, man? Where you been? Um, so glad to see everyone here, Johnny, Mon Mon, what's going on? So, all right, we got enough people here. I'm going to start. I already got my colors wetted over here. I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to put down some crazy washes. And uh, I'm going to try to, we're going to really try to capture a feeling today. Huh, I haven't noticed anything with the internet today where I'm at. Honestly, it's been cool for me, been good for me. But I don't know about streaming, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, thanks for joining everybody. I'm not sure where this place is, uh, somewhere in Europe probably, or maybe South America or something. I'm not sure because this is a stock free stock photo I found. So I was like, all right, let's do something different. We're starting off. Different today. So I'm starting bold. I'm going bold right at the beginning. We'll just see what happens here. See what happens. Going bold, going bold. Beautiful color there, love that. Just want some of this to bleed into the sky a bit. So I tried figuring out like what's the focal point of this scene. And I, I, I like the area of light here. 
but I think I'm going to make like some red. There's a red building back there. I'm going to kind of strengthen it a bit. So we'll try to make... to make that some kind of focal point back there. So I'm just leaving some spaces to show like some white windows and stuff. Like I said, trying to keep it loose today. I'll let some of these buildings bleed together and stuff. I want to try to capture a feeling, not, not really, not like super focused reality or anything, just some kind of feeling. Okay, colors that I'm using. Uh, let me post a list. I got a list here. I get this question every time, so. Just give me a second. There's all the colors on my palette. That's what I use. Just in differing amounts. Try not to think about it too much. Try not to complicate it. Just have fun. Oh man, just ruined the focal point here. Bummer, I should have did some wax resist. There's supposed to be an area of light right down here. Let's see if I can bring that out a bit. Wasn't thinking. Let's see if I can get that off. Come on. Well, it's going to have to be good enough for now. That's a bummer. It's supposed to be mostly like the white of the paper. Ruined it.
maybe it'll look light at the end. I'm doing well. How's everybody else doing? I started to draw when I was young. Glad to hear a letter. And my drawing still sucks sometimes too. And sometimes my paintings suck. This one might suck. I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> Pretty soon here, we're going to find out. It's always just trying to figure things out, you know. Every painting's a new challenge. Oh, thanks, Philip. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, it's been up there for about a week now. You've been gone. Missed it. But uh, thanks, man. I'll get that shipped out uh, probably tomorrow to you. Greatly appreciated. Hope you will enjoy it. Greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, what do I do next? Let's see, this is almost dry. So I do another, some other layers on top of that maybe. Darken it, get the shadows. This is still kind of wet. But I think just darken this whole thing. Let's do it, I'm tired of waiting. Try to darken this. Yeah, I should probably darken the whole building. Gotta stay focused here. Gotta darken this whole building. Otherwise, it's not gonna look right yet. Ah, keep mixing up the wrong color. Okay, let's try this.
Okay, there we go. It's pretty good. Shouldn't have done that. Messed up this part here. Sorry, I've been quiet, guys. I'm, I'm kind of focusing here. Trying to keep this one pretty loose, pretty fun. Okay, um, <clears throat> how do you suggest framing watercolor? Uh, most people like get it matted with glass and frame it, but um, it, I mean, you can frame it however you want. There's no right or wrong way. I would just look online and see what people do. Um, I, I used to frame stuff before I would sell it and then it, I realize it's a big pain because everybody is so particular about how they want it hung up or framed and everything. And it's just a big hassle for me. So I decided I'm just going to, I'm not going to waste my time on framing stuff before I ship it out. Um, so I just give people the art and they can do what they want with it. They can just hang it up as a sheet of paper if they want. That's fine. Or you can frame it, whatever. Everybody can do however they want with it. So. That <laughs> sounds good, Philip. Sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's been up there. You got lucky. No one snatched it up. Uh, I've only sold like one or two this past week, so yeah, not too bad. But uh, anyway, I think this is coming along pretty well. I don't know what you guys think. Um, looks pretty good. We got some light versus shadow going here, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I wonder if I should darken the sky a bit more, but that might kind of kill the light effect. I'm not really sure. I think this needs to be taken darker a little bit. There we go. Um, definitely going to need some more darks up here. 
like for these windows and stuff, try to figure out some of these, there's some greenery here. Let's put some of that greenery in. You can do that real quick. It's like a light yellow green. So just really, really simple stuff here. Just want to show like some of these windows have some little greenery and plants growing and stuff. Okay, it's kind of cool. Don't want to fuss too much about it. See, it's just still, still a little damp. That might actually be useful though, because I might want some windows and stuff that I put in on this thing. Might want them to bleed a little bit just to show that they're in shadow. So let's try that possibly. I'm gonna try going pretty dark here. Just right off the bat, let's just see what happens let's just go for it just trying to suggest like a little door don't want to get it to too, be too uh, architectural looking or anything doorway there. Let's see, it looks like there's a window there.
Oops. Okay, didn't mean to do that, but it's okay. Roll with it. Do you sign and spray them? There's no need to spray them. Uh, you just sign them. Um, yeah, there's no need to spray a watercolor painting. <clears throat> At least as far as I know, you don't have to spray them. <clears throat> you only have to spray it if, if you, honestly, you don't have to spray any painting if you don't want to. Uh, usually like acrylic and oil painting, people varnish them, but it's literally not necessary. Um, <clears throat> It was more necessary to varnish in the past when people had like um, wood stoves to heat their house and stuff. Like everything, it was a lot dirtier, you know, and paintings would get really dirty. And it just made more sense to like protect them with a the varnish. But nowadays it's like, you really don't have to. <clears throat> this is just YouTube only stream right now. Um... Yeah, I've, I've thought about doing like Twitch or something, but uh, I think with my internet, I can only really do YouTube right now at one time. <clears throat> so let's get... <clears throat> okay. Not really sure what to do now. Uh, thanks, I'll check that out. Streamlabs, OBS. I will definitely check that out. Maybe I should put the uh, those blue shutters in on this building. I may have to add some little blue in the distance as well. Let's try to do that. Let's see. I think it'll make it more cohesive with the blue sky, so we'll add in a little bit more blue here. I don't know. Let's go for it. Let's just see what happens. Ooh, I like that stroke. That's nice. Haha, <laughs> I like that one. Been trying to do some more dry brushing on this painting. Can't, haven't been able to get it how I want, but I think I like that one.
Can I add a vehicle? Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. That's too that's too risky for this man. That's way too risky. <laughs> as much as I'd love to, I don't know. I don't wanna I don't wanna you know, my focal point are these buildings, so I don't really want to dis distract from that. You know, I want this light to kind of bring, you know, focus your attention toward this light that's going on, shining onto these buildings. So I got to remember what the, you know, what's the point of my, my scene here. So I don't want to distract from that. Hmm. No, I can't add a card. I can't. I just can't draw cars. I can't add a car. Not adding a car. <laughs> uh, no cars shall be added. Not today. Okay, I don't want to mess with it too much more. I want to take a step back, see what I might need. Um, only thing that bothers me is like the emptiness of this building. So it's weird in the photo; it looks very empty from what I'm seeing. So I need to add uh, add something there. Thanks for a $10 donation, 66 lane, greatly appreciated. Woohoo. More art supplies, man. This is actually the last sheet on this watercolor block, so I'm about to figure out what to do. Uh, but yeah, I greatly, greatly appreciate the um, $10. Thank you. Which colors are you using in the shadows? Um, a lot of different colors, yellow ochre, transparent red oxide, um, ultramarine violet deep, ultramarine blue. That's probably it. Um, 
so this is more of like yellow ochre and transparent red oxide, ultramarine blue, and then like a little bit of per that violet deep, ultramarine violet deep, ultramarine blue down here with transparent red oxide. Touch of ivory black or something if you need to gray it down quickly. But usually the gray that I use, I mix my own gray. So I, I mix ultramarine blue and transparent red oxide and you get a, a gray. That's kind of what all these darks are that I'm doing. So hope that hope that helps. I'm going to put some uh, shadow color on this, uh, this greenery. Let's try to give it more of a light effect, I guess, light and shadow effect. So yeah, I think I need to put some kind of very light windows there. Maybe, uh, hmm, what color, what color? Some kind of light blue maybe or something. Very light, very, very light blue. I don't know, we'll try it. Maybe purple, light blue, purple, I don't know. I think it just needs something there. Oh, that was way too long. Oh, and I made it dark. Oh well, it's it's not important, so there we go. That works, I like that. Keep it simple. Very simple. Yeah, this is a pretty loose painting. I'm trying to, I don't know what more it needs. Is this kind of, is this kind of bare too? Does this need something? <clears throat> what, what's about a cloud? Uh, it's too late to add any clouds now uh, for the way that I would add them. Yeah, I feel like I need, I don't know. I need some kind of something there. Very light something. I don't know. Just echo those blue shutters again. That's probably my favorite stroke in the entire painting. I wish I had more of that in this painting. That's what I was really hoping to go for. And I'll show you guys. Show you guys real quick. Look at that stroke. Oh man, I love that. When you just get that in one stroke like that. Gosh. Hmm. Well. Hmm. More greenery? Yeah, where at? Where could I put more greenery? Oh, I see what you're saying, like maybe more greenery in this foreground or something. I don't know if it needs more greenery. Maybe it needs, um, what am I missing here from this photo? Let me look at the real photo. I'm looking at a, a blurry version of the photo. Let me open up the real one here. Oh, oh, I know one thing I was going to add. Now I remember. This will hopefully help it, I think. This will definitely, hopefully help it. Um, uh, I want to do some... Uh, I'm going to have to plan this out. There's some power lines going across on these buildings, so if I can if I can zigzag them into the distance a bit, kind of lead you back into the painting. I want to kind of dry brush these on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. This is a 
This is a big risk that I'm willing to take. Because you can only do these once. You only get one shot at something like this for one of these lines. So let me see, what do I want to do here? So it looks like from here to here there's one, but I don't want to do that. I think I do this one up like that off the page and then have it go from here to there and there hmm I want this to be zigzag okay we want that way that way maybe like this this and then this Okay, what was that? So like this, this, and then this. What do you guys think? A little more dark to the building on the right. Building on the right, more dark? As in like dark shapes, dark shadow, dark what? Dark, dark where? I'm not sure what you mean. Gotta be more specific. Maybe a little blue on the left building. Splatters, yeah, splatters are always fun, actually. I might add some splatters in these shadows. That's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, I think, I th okay, power line from here to here, and then from this building to this one, then from that down to this building. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. We'll do the first one, let's see. Oh, man, this is going to be... <laughs> Oh, there's only one shot to do this. Oh, okay. I don't want it too dark. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Boom. Yes, there we go. That's what we needed. Just needed a little something in there. Gives it a little more life. Um, A little interest there. Um, yeah, maybe not like the best shape or whatever, but okay. It's I've never really done a scene like this before, so just we're playing around here. We're just figuring it out. Um, let's see what else? What else? What else? I feel like maybe some of these windows just needs like a small dark shape inside of them small dark shape and not even not super dark just maybe like that does that do anything i don't know i just feel like there needs to be like some kind of contrast back there to like pull you in to look back there Maybe this is a little too strong. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Having to be like a little bit of uh, like making disappear there. That's the magic of that stuff is like, you want it to be have variation. Otherwise, it, you know, if it's just a solid line, it doesn't really look right. So, um, yeah, let's splatter just a little bit. Let's see. I always like adding those. So, 
We'll see if it uh, does anything. We'll do just a little bit, little bit, little bit. Just over here first. Just to show a little texture. I need, it needs like some kind of texture or something. It's hard to even see it on the camera for you guys probably, but just some nice. Splatters of texture in the shadows, kind of like that. I'll, I'll kill some of these because we don't want all of them there. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Gives a little more spontaneity, if you guys can see that there. Just a little bit of freckles, you know what I mean? Just a little, something nice. Just makes it look a little more loose, a little more fun in the shadow areas. Like otherwise, it just it starts looking too flat, too, too something, you know? Um, Maybe sharpen the shadow in the background as it hits the wall on the right. It's kind of smudged. Oh, this one right here? No, I kind of like that, actually. I kind of like it being, you know, you want the soft and hard edges next to each other. You want it like very, you know, you don't want hard edge all the way around. Um, you want this variety of soft, hard with a lot of different lines, you know. Some lines are, they start hard and then they get soft. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing for sure. Um, can you add a touch of light to the building on the left? I can't really add light. Um, it's hard to add. You can't really add light. Because watercolor, when you add stuff, it only gets darker. It doesn't get lighter. One thing I think I'm going to add, just to get a little more dimension, it's just a glaze. Just a quick glaze of like this over the door. Just to show that it's some kind of structural, architectural thing there. And that just gives it another value. You know, I can do that to some of these windows and stuff too. I don't want to get too crazy with it, but I think we may just need like another kind of value there. Give a little more dimension. There we go. I think that helped actually, to be honest. Just gives a little more structure to building and the things things that's happening here. Maybe towards the bottom we can just give a little texture, add some add some stuff going on. Yeah. That actually, that really helped, I think. Um, you know, I don't want to get too crazy with this thing, so we're probably almost done here, but just try to dry brush in some other dark shapes. I wish I would have varied up these buildings a bit more with color. I feel like I only should have made like one of these that yellow color and then I should have varied this color, made it lighter. But because they're all kind of equal, equally same width of, of color. So it's kind of annoying to me, but not much I can do about it now. The only thing I could do is add color to like this middle one 
and it would just darken it and I don't know if I want to darken it so I'm just gonna have to keep it I think but um, you prefer graffiti or watercolor well what do you think I have a ton of video I have over a hundred videos of doing watercolor so I don't think I prefer graffiti because I've never done it <laughs> uh, there's actually a cool lamp that's sticking out from the building here. I don't know that it's gonna add anything or if it's just gonna complicate things. I think I'll just keep what I have here. I'm gonna take the tape off, I think, because I don't think I'm gonna splatter anymore. I think I'm happy with the splattering. So I'll take the tape off and I'll see if there's anything worth adding to this. Oh, well, we got some bleeding there. That's okay. Oh, well, that's what happens. So this thing's about to come off the block anyway. I'm just going to take it off. Okay. So there's the painting. Can't get it to sit flat, but as flat as I can get it right now. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that there's any much more I want to do to it. Line between red and light brown building. Um. I mean, I, I kind of like it kind of bleeding together like that. I don't know if I want a line there. I get what you're saying. Let me see. If I do something very light, it could be. Yeah, yeah maybe good. Maybe that helped a bit. <clears throat> But anyway, guys, I think uh, I think I'm about done with this because I don't want to overwork it. And, and let me just take a look at it. It's pretty cool. I mean, not my greatest, not like my favorite. There's something about it I don't like. <clears throat> I think this powerful blue over here really attracts my eye too much from this. So that was that was a bad call on that. <clears throat> but um yeah, it should have just been like a light gray or something. Should have should have worked more with the rest of the painting and then this could have really stood out. But I tried it. I went I went for it. I just went for it, you know. But um yeah, I'm really happy with these shadows, like getting the reflected light look. Like you can still see into the shadows because there's these dark doorways and stuff. Um, it looks really cool. It makes it look like realistic, you know, in a way. I like the looseness of this doorway and the bit windows and stuff. I definitely want to practice more buildings and stuff in the future. So um, this is a pretty good kind of first attempt of doing something like this. Uh, so yeah, 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 I'm happy with this. The only thing I can think of doing is just softening some of these tops of these, uh, roofs a bit. I just, it's, some of it's a little too strong for me. I just kind of want it to blend into the sky a bit more. But anyway, probably messing with it too much now.
All right, folks, uh, I think I'm going to get off here, get some dinner and everything. Hope you guys enjoy your evening. The next live stream, possibly tomorrow, will be pen and ink. I'll try to figure out something. Um, no, I don't usually work on them after the stream. Do not uh, usually do that. Um, I'm open for suggestions for tomorrow, pen and ink subject. I'm not sure. We could do some more architecture. We could draw an animal. We could do landscape that's more organic and natural, mountains or something. Um, yeah, what do you what do you guys what are you guys feeling for the next live stream, pen and ink? Just let me know. Love to hear from you. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop before I mess up this whole painting. Probably not going to stop. I'm just going to keep messing with it. But yeah, definitely going to stop now. Okay. Um, cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy with this, man. Happy with this one. Uh, buildings. Okay, we'll do some buildings. We'll do some buildings. What type of brushes do I use? I use round brushes, number 16 round, and a number 8 quill or a mop, quill or mop brush. This is what I use for the whole thing mostly. And then some smaller rounds, a number 10. I don't even think I use this one, but I did use a number 10 round. So there you go. Um, snowy mountain scene or buildings tomorrow? Okay, we'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling tomorrow for pen and ink. It could be cool, but uh, all right. Take care, you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, actually, before I go, be sure to check out my uh, paintings and stuff and drawings as well on my website, Shaper Fine Art. I got some paintings for sale. Still available. Some good ones on there, really good ones. And so all the drawings from these live streams are on there as well. So, uh... Definitely check that out, and uh, this watercolor will probably be up there uh, shortly for anyone who might be interested. So, really affordable art. Definitely check out my website, shaferfineart.com. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.